What's up guys, I'm Wesley. I'm Stephanie. <laughs> this is Alex. We are mixing things up a little bit for you guys. So Jeffree Star just bought a damn new mansion. <laughs> and so I had to bring in the cavalry. Stephanie's a little sick, but I've got my good friend Alex here who is a Jeffree Star fan and he happens to be a real estate investor. Wow. That's his real job. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought it'd be really fun for us to like sort of break down and, and look at Jeffree Star's new house together and sort of explain what's going on because I know a lot of you probably don't know about the house he bought or the area and all that. It looks sick as fuck. That's all I got. <laughs> it honestly, that's all you have to know. Jeffree's been dropping a lot of hints recently that they wanted to move. I'm talking some of the greatest memories I'll ever have in my life here. But sometimes it's time for a change. We don't know, but we may have found maybe the house of our dreams. <laughs> the house is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. People were really upset before because the old house, it was so fundamentally a part of the videos that they would sure. film. Especially in the Shane series, it was almost like a whole nother character. This house looks like a fucking castle. And it's probably in Calabasas too or some shit like that. Guys, it's in Calabasas. Are, are you, is it really? It's in Hidden Hills. <laughs> if you guys haven't heard of Hidden Hills, it's really famous. A lot of rappers reference it. Hidden Hills, keep off in the main. Tons of famous people live there. Drake lives there, Miley Cyrus, Kanye, The Weeknd, the whole Kardashian Jenner clan, they all live there. Can't wait for new drama. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Jeffree Star has beef with Drake pretty soon here. <laughs> oh, you know what's funny is he has made videos about Kylie's lip kits and stuff. Really? It'll be really funny, like Kylie pulls up. Like. <laughs> Hidden Hills specifically has not one, not two, but three gated entrances. Ooh. Let's talk. De Niro. For scale of reference, guys, Jeffrey's older house, which was an amazing, beautiful property, was $3.6 million. Do you want to take a stab at how much the new property costs? It looks like it's at least 10 mil. That's actually really, really close. So he bought it for 14.6 million. The asking price was 19 million. Holy shit. So Jeffree Star, as we all know, good in business. 25,000 square foot house, 4,700 square foot garage. Damn. That's bigger than our house. We all know how Jeffrey loves his Lamborghinis and his Bentleys and his cars. That's a pink Tesla. <laughs> Just letting you know. This, is this, is this, this, is, what is this? Yeah. The house has eight bedrooms, 13 bathrooms. Little fun fact, the reason mansions have so many bathrooms is because bathrooms can be easily converted into bedrooms but bedrooms can't be easily converted into bathrooms. Wow, look at that real estate knowledge. Little Boom, factor. right here on this channel. Yo! Step in West. Now, a lot of fans, the main burning question they had after seeing the pictures of the new house and hearing that Jeffrey was gonna be moving, they were like, what the hell is he going to do with the giant tens of thousands of dollar vault that he just installed a few months ago? to hold all of his designer stuff. A lot of people thought he would literally like come with some type of helicopter or, or something and lift it out and bring it to the new house. That's not happening. No? Yeah, Jeffrey said whoever gets the house is getting the vault and they're gonna be damn happy about it. <laughs> I know we just built the vault a few months ago, but um, bitch, someone else is gonna enjoy it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> someone else will definitely enjoy it. Uh, and they're gonna build a new vault in the wow. new house. That being said, guys, we are gonna show you the pictures. First off, it looks like a damn castle. Oh yeah. It's gorgeous. You look on the bottom left, it's got like a portcullis. Yeah, that is so That's tight. so damn cool. Oh man. It looks Rocks like a whole bunch of there. horse stables that used to be in there. Yo, it, it really does. If it wasn't for the California vegetation, it legitimately <laughs> looks like an old English manor yeah, or something, absolutely. doesn't it? Little close oh. up. It's oh. it's really <laughs> elegant. Do you see the little damn. cutout for the chandelier yeah, in the middle? Like so gorgeous. And the manicured hedges. Oh, and the chandelier's outside? Holy shit. Is that shit. out? Oh, they've got an outside chandelier. There's no way it's outside. This but looks, it looks like it's outside. This looks like something that people drive up to in a horse carriage in like a Jane Austen movie. Shout mm -hmm. out Pride and Prejudice. Shout out Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> this oh. is... This is part of the property in the backyard. It's nice, nice. It's gorgeous. It looks like a spa. Yeah. Is this two acres of just like pure like brick? I, the pictures don't show us. Okay. And I was surprised there's not actually more like lawn right. and yard type stuff, but we can't know for sure since we've only seen like the released pictures. It almost looks like an observatory. Uh, yeah. Doesn't it? And it's such a gorgeous like background view of like the mountains and stuff, or the hills and stuff like that. That's so cool. Cool. Jeffrey's gonna have to get into stargazing. Yeah. 100%. Astronomy is <laughs> the new hobby. It's gonna inspire the next makeup palette. You heard it here first. First shot of the indoors. This is 
the front entrance. Dual damn staircases. Holy shit. Legitimately looks like, again, the scene from Jane Austen yeah. where they're announcing someone entering the ball and they like walk down gracefully. Yeah. Can you imagine picking up your prom date? Yeah, I could just imagine all these prom high schoolers just yeah. all line up the, the stairs. I don't know if this is just my middle class showing, this doesn't feel homey to me. No. This again feels like an event hall almost, especially with the marble floors. Yeah. But again, we don't know. He might gut the place. So this is all gonna be pink. Yeah. Probably the living room. That's a little bit more homey. Yeah, a little bit. It, it, it feels like the house that the rich family has. And then they go back to their normal house. Yeah. On the weekends. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And you see the dining room yep, in there the as room. well, which is actually smaller than I would have anticipated. <laughs> the dining room looks like where they would hold meetings about foreign policy. And like, or like Washington DC. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Then we jump into the kitchen. That's an ugly fucking kitchen. <laughs> that is a disgusting kitchen. So oh, it's terrible. And the weird thing is too, there's not actually that much counter space for how much square footage there is in here. So right. from a practicality standpoint, there's almost very little room that you could actually cook for. This is pound for pound the worst room <laughs> I've had so far. Definitely. I, I've liked every other room, even though I was like, oh, it feels a little austere. Like, this is one of the bedrooms. There's like a full suite. I love that the fireplace is right next to the bed. That's amazing. I hate the trim uh, on the coffer ceilings, like with the red and all that. That looks. And this room's definitely going pink. Yeah. There's no way sure. that's yeah. staying. This room is 100% going pink. Then we got the game room. This is going to be an essential room in the house because Jeffrey and Nathan need somewhere to store their pinball machine collection. <laughs> So maybe later we'll go to our warehouse where we have like a hundred machines. Dorm. This looks like the rec center down at like <laughs> not the best part of yeah, the town. Yeah. And this is ugly, right? It's like hideous. I don't understand some of the decorating decisions for such an expensive mansion. Yeah. So this oh, is oh, the fuck. indoor gym. It literally looks like you cut and pasted a 24-hour fitness in here. It's two stories, and this is pretty essential in case Jeff Dolan decides to make another appearance. God, this is so light. I'm bored. You fucking monkey, Jeff. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. <laughs> so this is kind of the amazing Italian or Spanish portion of the it's house gorgeous. suddenly. Really this is nice. my favorite. The floors are warmer. Ow. I would love to live here. This looks like a vineyard. Yeah. It looks like you're in Italy. You're on a wine tour. It, it, there's room for a lot of booze. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Quite a lot of vino. That is so cool. Isn't that amazing? And there's like a tasting area. I feel like we've seen three different houses yeah. at this point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, but it's big enough for like three different houses, so. It's like, hey, if you like different aesthetics in the interior of a house, this house is for you. I want to make my panic room look like this. <laughs> There's literally a spa slash meditation slash relaxation room. I hate this room. Yeah. I hate the orange. I hate the green. This is the least relaxing room to me. What is relaxing about this? Nothing. This is stressing me. If you can stay relaxed in a room that's specifically decorated to make you You're as anxious dead. as possible. Yeah. It's like training. The thing I'm most jealous about in the entire house. That's gorgeous. They literally have a sauna. How many people are in their family? Just two, right? Jeffrey said that he wants to have more people move in from their family. Okay, gotcha. So well, like, this would make sense. It's so big in fact that there is an elevator, which is something that's very interesting because we don't actually, there's no information about how many stories the house is. You would three expect it's gotta be three or four, right? If they have a freaking elevator. This looks like something from Charlie and the Time Machine. <laughs> Like from <laughs> Willy Wonka, plus movie, movie, room. movie room, the most fancy Oscar looking movie room ever. This looks like where they premiere movies. It's like movie Cigar premiere. Lounge. Yes. Kind of thing. Yeah. That is the house. That's it? That's it. Those that's are, all? That's all we know about the house. Oh man. There's no pictures of the garage. I can't wait to watch your guys' reaction video to Jeffrey's house. Yeah. when he drops the actual yeah. house tour. Comment down below, let us know. If you agreed with the parts of the house we didn't like, if you didn't agree with us, tell us. Also let us know how you think Jeffrey's gonna actually decorate it. You don't buy a house like this with Jeffrey's kind of money without spending like three million in right. renovating it into exactly what you want. There's no way it's yeah. gonna look anything like this after he's done with it. I agree. That being said guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Wes and Steph and friends. Subscribe down below. And Stephanie Stephanie will be back. Stephanie will be back unless she is too sick. She's literally sleeping something off right now. But we love you guys. Have a beautiful day. Oh, uh, we should we should have done hi. How are you at the intro? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, bye. <laughs> hope hope I don't know. Bye. <laughs>